Hi and welcome to another Xamarin tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a second screen to an iOS app. So um, in the previous tutorial I showed how to make um, a second screen for Android. Now we're going to do this for iOS devices. So um, I'm going to create a new solution for this. I'm going to click on iOS app and it's going to be a single view app written in C sharp. So we'll go next. <clears throat> uh, I'll just call it multi-screen app. It's not going to um, be a special app, it's just going to demonstrate having two screens. And target platform might just choose iOS 9.1 and devices both iPad and iPhone. Click next. Confirm the project name, solution name and where I'm storing the project and um, just click create. Okay, so we'll just let Xamarin load that up. Here we go. Now, um, Xamarin always opens appdelegate.c sharp um, when you first create an iOS project. We can just close that and what we want is view controller. Uh, actually, we won't we won't be doing any coding, so we don't need the view controller file. We just need to open main.storyboard. Okay, so we don't really need to do any coding yet. All right, so we'll just let our storyboard file load up and it should show the main screen in the app. Now, with Android in the previous tutorial, I showed how to add more screens to an app. And usually what you'd have to do is create separate files for each screen. So separate .axml files for each screen and then a separate activity file for each screen. But with iPhone or iOS, we can just um, have our storyboard file and we can have several screens inside that file. So we only have one here at the moment, but we can go and add multiple screens and link them together. Now where it says view as, we wanna change that from generic to the device you're targeting. I'm going to pick iPhone 6 and I'm just going to um, zoom fit to just fit that to um, the window there. Okay, that's it. Now what I'll do is I'll just drag a, a button on here and when the user taps that button it will take them to the second screen. So pretty simple really. So just grab a button element from the toolbox, drag that on there and we'll click on that button and change its text so it doesn't say button. I'll just say go to next screen. And we'll also give this button a um, name. So we'll just call it next screen button. All right. Now, obviously that button isn't showing all of its text. So we just need to drag out the sides there so we can see all of the text. And the text is already aligned to the center. Um, now, to be able to add a second screen to this app, we firstly need to say which is the main or the root screen, so the screen that will open when the app launches, and then we can go and add more screens to it. So what we need to do, scroll right up to the top of the toolbox, and we have two things that we'll need to add. We need to add um, a navigation controller, and then after that we'll need to add a view controller. So what we'll do is just click on navigation controller, drag it on anywhere onto our storyboard and let go. All right, now you'll see three things here. Um, so if we click around, there's three things here that we can work with. All right, and you can click and drag them from the top to move them around and just put them next to each other. So we've got navigation controller, we've got the main screen that we've just been working on and we've got root view controller. And what we want to do is we want to just, um, we want to get rid of that. We don't need this root view controller. So we can right click it and we can click on delete. And you might actually have to do it a second time. Right click again and then delete. And oh, let's do it here maybe. There we go. So right click on that screen and then click delete. And you might have to do it a second time until it disappears. Okay, so now we have two screens here. We've got um, our actual main screen over here to the right and then we've got something called navigation controller. 
what we need to do, it says control drag from here to set root view controller. So if you hold down the control key on the keyboard and click and drag from here over to this screen, you see a blue line that links them together. Let go. And then it comes up with this menu here. And where it says relationship, we want to choose root. Now, this, by selecting that, it makes this our root screen. The main screen is now the root screen, which means this is the screen that launches when the app opens. And you'll also see that it gives us a title. So we can double click on that title to change the text there. And we could call it something like home. All right. Um, now that we've set the, re the root screen up, now we can add another screen. So we can scroll down the toolbox until we see view controller. And we can drag that on. And now we have another screen to work with. So we can just scroll around, move around. We can click and drag this from the top there and just move them all next to each other like so. All right, so now we've got our home screen there and we've got our second screen over here. Okay, um, now what we want is we want the user to be able to tap this button which says go to next screen and then it will take them over to this screen here. So we can actually control click on this button and drag from that button to this screen. So you see now a line going to this screen here. We can let go and it says action seg. We can choose show. All right. And so that means when we click on this button or tap this button, it will show this screen. And now you can see there's also like a back button up the top there of the screen, which says home. We can also make our own button as well on the actual screen here that could take the user back as well. So here I could just drag on another button onto this screen. You could click on that button. You can call it something like um, back button. All right. And as soon as you give the first element on your screen a name, so whether it's a button, whether it's like a, a text label or something else, as soon as you start giving it a name, you'll see a little warning icon here, this little yellow warning icon. If you click on that, it says this. It says, this property setting will cause a runtime error. The parent view controller does not have a code behind. Select an existing class below or enter a name to generate a new class and code behind. So we have, um, for our main screen, we have the, it's inside main.storyboard. But we have viewcontroller.cs, that's the code that, um, that's the file that we actually write our code in to give all the functionality for the um, home screen. But we also need a file where we can type our code for the second screen. So we need to actually create um, another, another file for that. All right, so we can just give it a name, for example, screen two or whatever this screen is going to be called and then view controller and then just hit enter or return. All right. And now you'll see that there's another file here called screen to view controller.cs. So all the code for the main screen goes inside view controller.cs and all the code for our new second screen goes inside screen to view controller.cs. And if you open that file, you'll see um, it's ready to go there. You can start coding it. Okay. Um, there is some stuff that you have to add to it though. So um, if we open up viewcontroller.cs, you can see we've got um, like view did load. We've got some methods there that we use um, currently don't exist in this file here. So um, we'll look at that in the um, in a future tutorial where we look at how to um, pass data between screens and add functionality to more screens in the app. Anyway, we could change the text on this button. Um, so it can say something like go back and then we can resize it so we can see all of that text. All right, that's pretty much it. So um, now the only thing remaining is to link this button back to this screen. So we can hold down control, click and drag from that button to this screen and then select show. So now we tap this button, we go to this screen, we tap this button, we go back to the main screen. Okay, 
and that's it. So um, we can just save it, Command Save or Command S, sorry, or Control S, and then we can select a device to simulate this app on, and then run it. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's just launching the iPhone simulator. And here we go. It's just loading. All right, so this is the main screen of the app. It says go to next screen. And then it loads a second screen there with that button that says go back. So every time we click or tap those buttons, we're going between each screen. Now you might notice, I'm not sure why, but the title bar is not showing up on the simulator. Um, however, that should should appear when you build the app and send it to a phone. It's just not showing up on the simulator. Um, but anyway, there we go. We've got two screens now um, that are linked together. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. In um, one of the next few tutorials, we'll look at how to pass data from one screen to another in iOS using Xamarin. Thanks for watching.